Dr. Karen here. Welcome to another edition of the Spiritual Medicine Digest. And I thought on a quiet Friday, which I have taken off, <laughs> yay, uh, I thought I would film this in the loft. Yeah, so my husband built this really cool copper pyramid for our Christmas present and uh, it's amazing how it focuses the uh, attention and the intention on um, whatever it is you want to manifest. Super, super cool. Uh, but that's not what I really want to talk to you about this week. So um, as far as the spiritual news for this week, I think the most important thing, I'm going to get right to it, is that um, we had um, a fairly, what I would call, big Ascension event, I believe it was on Wednesday. Uh, you know, so that was um, the 30th of January, 2019. Um, now we have Ascension events ongoing multiple times a day now, you know, on and on, but sometimes there's, you know, these big ones that uh, sensitive souls in particular may feel more uh, in their physical body. So in these cases, you might have difficulty grounding or integrating them. So you might have some headaches or neck aches or feel heavy in the head uh, or even dizzy. Um, and then what you can do in Topican Healing, what we do is we uh, ask the right questions so we get the best answer. So one of the right questions to ask when these happen things happen is just check if they are related to an ascension event that recently occurred in the last X number of days. And then you can test how well you are uh, grounding, integrating, and processing the latest ascension energies. Yeah, so those are the words you want to use, grounding, integrating, and processing. And then you can ask, if you really are studious, you can ask them each part of you, like you can ask how well are you doing all three in the physical mental, emotional, spiritual, energetic, dimensional, right? And sometimes you'll catch one uh, or two of those things that are not doing it well. And then sometimes if you do need to know more, you can go to the Topican Healing Guides if you know a level one training uh, to figure out what it is you need to do to be able to do all those three things and all the different various parts of you. Um, or if you don't need to know more, you can just uh, do a directive and direct that uh, this happened, that, you know, um, you know, it would sound something like this. I now command that all parts of me, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, energetic, dimensional, be able to fully ground, integrate, and process ascension energies in the highest and best way now and ongoing. Now, sometimes people need to redo that occasionally because um, you need to learn something. So this week, uh, um, I did have to learn something between myself and, you know, some of my other uh, clients, especially those uh, that are super sensitive. Um, and that is that... Um, with the latest big ascension event in uh, on Wednesday, that many of us um, were able to sense and feel um, more and more subtler energies. Like um, subtle energies are basically energies that are in a smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller scale. Like in the past, they thought the smallest thing was what you could see with the naked eye, right? It's a speck of dust. Then they invented the microscope. Then you could see even smaller, right? You can see microbes. But then they invented the electron microscope. So then you can see something even smaller than that. And then, you know, physics keep going. Then you do, you know, then you can see, you know, or not see, but you can then measure quarks and, you know, you know, subatomic particles and things like that. Well, subtle energy is even smaller than that. And we do not even have the instrumentation to actually see these particles. So some of us, um, it's almost like there's extra information now that we can feel into process whatever so sometimes the body will go into this reactionary state and go ah what's this it's like it's like being dropped off in a brand new planet and going where am i what is all this stuff when you get to feel all this extra energy now the really cool thing is it's increasing your superpowers so your ability to um sense things so you could maybe sense things from you know uh, 10,000 miles away, uh, another planet, another planetary system, you know, because you can read those subtle energies, sort of like Star Wars, you know, when they say, you know, you can feel the force. It's like that, uh, but even more sophisticated than that, even more detailed than that. But what I found out is this might be helpful for you, especially if you're super sensitive, is to go ahead and put in a directive that your, that your bodies whether it be physical, mental, what, mental, emotional, whatever, that your bodies do not react to the newer energies that you are being presented. Not that they're new, but they're new to you because in the past you may not have been able to sense these things. And then now that you can sense them, sometimes your body's like, ah, what's this? You know, so, 
<laughs> so you may want to just uh, do a directive and just and it may or may not work for you because sometimes you do need to understand or know things and you'd have to go to the guides and ask more questions but for those of you that don't need to know the details um, you can go ahead and do the directive and it would it would sound something like this um, I now command that all parts of me that the reactivity to anything new be turned down to a zero on the 10 point scale in the highest and best way with ease and grace in all timelines where I exist or something similar. So basically what you're telling, um, you know, the, the directive is that, hey, if my body senses something brand new or new subtle energies that I don't necessarily need to you know, know about or, or feel in the moment, uh, let's turn down the body's reactivity as low as possible. So even though you have that superpower to be able to sense it, if you so wish to choose, uh, you don't actually have to react to it. It's better to respond, not to react, right? So anyway, so those of us that are, you know, um, in the Light Wars Park group, uh, you know, we can, you know, continue the discussion of this uh, further there and, and see if it's relevant to you uh, right now. So that's kind of like the big news uh, for this week. Um, so a couple other things I wanted to share. Number one is our radio show on Monday is with Dr. Dennis Loebstein. And uh, every first Monday of the month, we do a LifeWave show. Now I've asked him to do a show on ligaments. <laughs> so, uh, or laxity. So, cause I have had uh, some issues with this where some parts of me are super flexible and then, then the stability of the joint isn't as ideal. So it's not that there's any wrong with the joint per se, or that it's disintegrated or aging or whatever, but it's more like the alignment can be, you know, if I exercise or whatever, it can be a little off. So would love to have Dr. Dennis's feedback on what LifeWave phototherapy patching protocols might be helpful. Um, and FYI, in case you missed last week's Spiritual Medicine Digest, I talked about the X39 phototherapy, which is for stem cells. And this is really exciting because, um, uh, you know, stem cells are the parts of you that actually make all the other parts of your body. So if you can stimulate your stem cells back to when you were younger, then you can actually repair parts of your body. So I think having a non-invasive way of stimulating your stem cells is super, super exciting. So the X39 just launched, um, you know, uh, last weekend and uh, they have a special for current distributors, which is three packages for $249.95 US. Um, if you are not a distributor, um, then you would have to sign up as a distributor to get that deal. Uh, but the enrollment packages also have deals as well. Um, but the retail price is $149.95, which is still an amazing price. If you think about how many tens of thousands of dollars it costs to actually get stem cell injections or to like harvest your own stem cells, have them grow them, uh, you know, in a test tube or, you know, whatever petri dish and then re-inject them into your cell. I mean, it's a lot of money. So if you can do it through light, you know, light medicine, phototherapy, uh, all the better. And uh, now um, David Schmidt, who is the inventor and CEO we're actually going to be interviewing him live on the radio show, Light Warrior Radio, on February 18th. So you would definitely want to mark that on your calendar. So if you have questions about stem cells, if you have questions about whether or not this phototherapy will work for you, what's it for, uh, what the results are of the studies, what peptide does it stimulate, that's the time to come and ask those questions. So if you're on my mailing list at KarenCan.com, you will get an alert the day before. Uh, and it's just, you can mark your calendar, it's 12 noon Eastern. Uh, on Mondays, all my radio shows are, and this one, the special one is February 18th, where you can ask the founder and inventor these questions. So super, super exciting stuff. Um, okay, so Monday, ligamentous laxity, <laughs> and then on the 18th, it's going to be uh, David Schmidt, and we have other shows in between. Uh, that's going to be exciting. I'll announce those a little later. Um, the other announcement is that uh, Topican Healing Level 1, the 2019, uh, has formally launched. So for those that want to learn my Topican healing technique uh, method on, uh, you know, how to do, you know, energy healing with ease, speed and grace and be able to direct energy like that, uh, then that is all launched right now. So we actually have a special. So before February 14th, um, there is an early bird special. So it's about, uh, the, the, the program is about $10,000 in value and you can get more details at Topican healingmethod.com uh, but uh, the you know the early launch price 
uh, is about $500 off of the regular price. So the regular price is $19.99 and the launch price is $14.99 uh, until February 14th. And you can find out more information at TobacanHealingMethod.com. We'll put the link in the description. Um, and also too, if you're not familiar with Topican Healing, uh, we encourage you to actually book uh, an interview. Um, it's a $99 interview and that price goes uh, towards your product if you so choose and we choose that it's for your highest and greatest good uh, to be in the program um, because we want to make sure that it's a good fit. Now for those of you that already bought my programs or are familiar with Topican Healing, do the mini healings you know, every month or, you know, on Light Warrior Network or familiar, then you don't really need an interview unless you really want one. Um, so you don't have to spend that $99. You can go straight into, you know, that, that program. And again, because it's a limited time for the early bird, um, if this is, you know, you've been waiting for this launch, this is it. Um, so you can get in and uh, to get in on that price uh, before February 14th. Yay! <laughs> Okay, guys, uh, let's see if I have any other announcements. Um, I just wanted to just touch in on something, and I guess it's not really an announcement. I should have talked about it earlier. But, <laughs> uh, but anyway, it, it's about fear. So I just want you to keep on a lookout, okay, for things that are there to instill fear and be very vigilant of that. Not fearful, but vigilant, and really check your responses and your auto reactions. Um, I think it's really curious how in many parts of the U.S. we've had some really, really frigid cold weathers and a, a lot of snow. And it's very interesting because in areas that are used to that, or at least used to a lot of snow, it's not as big a deal. Like, because we're prepared, right? We have our insulated homes. We have our down parkas. We have our, you know, two to three different ways to heat our house. Um, and uh, we're used to the big snow, so we have our we have our snow trucks. We got our people that are trained, and they clear the snow very easily. And and you know what? So, so here in Lake Placid, although it's been super super cold and lots and lots of snow, you know, on the days like today, it's like kind of sunny. It's um, the skiers love it. So so people want the snow here. You know, maybe not want the frigid cold, but people are out on the lake at minus five degrees Fahrenheit, you know, like they're here for a holiday. And so it's like the, think about the attitude. So the attitude somewhere here, it's like, eh, it's cold, mm, not the greatest, but th th that overwhelming fear isn't there, you know, because they're used to it. They're prepared. Most, a lot of people have their own generators, you know what I mean? So they're prepared. So they're not fearful of what could happen, but in towns and places where this, they're not used to it, you know, like in places that don't get snow, they, I mean, that whole city go grinds to a halt in the state of emergency and the rest of us, you know, over here in like class are like, what, you just got five inches of snow, what's the big deal? You know what I mean? So it's the fear part that we want you to check, not to say that you shouldn't be prepared, okay? You can be prepared, but get rid of the fear because yeah, there are other parts of the world that do get this cold, like regularly, it's not a big deal. Okay, we like to like laugh about it maybe and post on Facebook, go, ah, I'm cold as you, you know, but it doesn't have to be fear. It doesn't have to be freak out, right? So you gotta not only just watch your own responses, but remember as a sense of soul, you will entrain, if there's a bigger energy around you of, in this case, fear, you will entrain to that. So you have to be stronger because other people are going to be in fear around you in your town. They're gonna be freak out, you know, like, you know, bust down the Walmart doors to get all the water and whatever. Like uh, even in Toronto, my mom, my parents have this big tall building they live in, and and they lost power for a short while. But my mom was very calm. She had already, you know, bought extra water just in case, and you know, she was completely prepared. My dad took a nap, you know, <laughs> and sure enough, the electricity came on a couple hours later. But I was just really proud of her for just not freaking out, like just being like, okay, yep, yeah, it could happen. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna get prepared. So be prepared, not be afraid, right? Now, not that you need to be afraid to be prepared, but I mean, obviously, if you are in the middle of Hawaii, you're not going to prepare for a snowstorm. I get that, right? Don't you know, over prepare, but just watch and check your fear responses. You know, whether there's like an outbreak of whatever and wherever, again, uh, watch your fear responses. You know, people are coming to me. Oh my gosh, I'm so afraid my kids are going to get sick and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you know what? If you knew Topican healing, or at least know how to divine muscle test, you could know in an instant how likely your child is going to get sick. You just do their, how happy is their immune system? You just ask how healthy is it? And if it's not healthy, then you ask, oh, what is it that's going to make me, you know, healthy? 
either you go to the gods or you, you know, if you already know, well, do they need vitamin C? Do they need silver? Do they need to sleep more? Do they need to like stop having their cell phone on at night? You know what I mean? Like, these are common things that you can ask and you can be empowered to ask these things. So you don't have to go, oh my God, maybe I'm going to get this virus or get what measles or whatever is, you know, they're trying to freak people out on, you know? So just be empowered, right? Be empowered and know your stuff. You can do this. You can do this. I don't care if you take top can healing or not. You can check your child's immune system, how happy it is. You can check your own immune system, how happy it is. The minute it goes down below 95, take action. It's actually not that hard. Okay, guys, that's the Spiritual Medicine Digest for this week. Lots of love. Can't wait to talk to you next week. Bye.